Amigos, welcome to Lima, Peru. Welcome to my home today. And welcome to another cooking session here in Peru, in the capital of this beautiful country, Lima. So today's cooking class is going to be about a dish, a recipe that has Italian influence. The, the name of this dish is Mondongo alla Italiana, also known as Mondonguito alla Italiana. So what is Mondongo? Mondongo is tribes. Uh, Italians as Spanish and also as Peruvians, uh, we share in common uh, this idea, this, this love for uh, eating uh, tribes, for example. We don't waste any part of an animal that we consume. Let's begin also with our show. And as always, I'm going to share first with you the list of ingredients. And by the way, uh, I am creating a, a cookbook that is a present for my Patreons. So if you wish to access to uh, this cookbook uh, that has all the recipes that I have been developing for about two years in this channel, please consider becoming a Patreon. From as little as $2 per month, you can support this channel, support these classes, and also uh, get uh, exclusive access to not edited videos, uh, and also uh, cooking shows, uh, well, every time you wish, plus the uh, cookbook, okay? So, well, let's go now to the list of ingredients. So, first of all, we're going to need uh, potatoes. Uh, I'm using today this type of potato. This is yellow potato, and yellow potato uh, is quite fast to be uh, fried. So, the potatoes need to be, like, fried like this, like uh, French fries. I think you will call it French fries. So this step is already done. Uh, look at the size of these potatoes. They are not super big, not too small. So you have to fry them and reserve them. Um, by the way, you have to try um, uh, French fries of yellow potato, delicious. Uh, so we also need an uh, onion one onion uh chubby juliana uh style so this is uh, just chopped not cooked yet and i have put some water and salt in it so in that way it will not get dark one tomato uh so as you can see the tomato is sliced also i have removed the the heart the center of the tomato every every dish that we produce always comes with first an aderezo which is the base of the flavor and of course we have here garlic this is garlic paste we're going to be using about uh, one spoon more or less of garlic paste and we need also this uh, this is yellow uh, chili paste and uh, we need also well two spoons of that paste and two spoons of uh, what we call panca chili uh, which is paprika uh, is paprika chili uh, we need also tomato tomato paste and well in Italian cuisine tomato paste is of course fundamental approximately four spoons of tomato paste so that's going to make it like more creamy and also it will give a very nice consistency we need of course salt I'm using today Mara's salt the pink salt of Peru um, which is also a, now a very popular product around the world uh, there's also another pink salt the Himalayan salt um, so if you can try Peruvian salt if you find it on the markets it's, it's also pretty much very similar mm -hmm. so then we're going to need oh this is the the fun part and let me show you here our tribe so uh, of course that I need to always do some steps in advance and I have already boiled our tripe. So how it looks, let me show you. This is how tripe looks like, okay? Uh, we call it mondongo. So to be able to make the mondongo tasty and also soft, you need to do a couple of things. First of all, 
well this is a dish that needs to be done with patience because it's not like you boil it uh, you know like uh, 10 minutes 20 minutes and that's it no and uh, my grandmother uh, loved to do this dish so she told me that first of all you have to boil uh, this uh, product you know, this this uh, cut this uh, tripe uh, for a long time like when it breaks the water into boiling you have to turn down the fire and you have to leave it there boiling for close to two hours right uh, with very very low almost minimal heat oh so you're going to see that the water will not evaporate but is going to continue in this bubbly you know like a um, state and this tripe is going to be soft when you finish the boiling this is yerba buena yerba buena uh, i think you you find it as mint and it is very aromatic and we use it a lot when we are boiling for example uh, like tripe could be or any other viscerals that have some uh, liver for example that have a strong uh, flavor or uh, lung um, this removes completely removes completely the uh, the aroma so the uh, broth which I have already reserved a bit of the broth here about I have reserved about two uh, mugs uh, two cups of uh, the broth is going to be used to con constantly uh, sort of like moist the uh, uh, this this uh, aderezo that we are going to be making together. We also need, of course, uh, salt. We need uh, cumin. We need pepper. That's going to be added a little bit later. Uh, just pinches of that, mm. and we need also carrots and a uh, green peas um so carrots and green peas are already boiled i boil them um, uh, let's say for about 15 minutes and with a pinch of salt uh, also at the end to add a little bit extra flavor we need uh parsley okay perejil in spanish parsley it is chopped very little so let's now continue with the procedure okay so now we're going to cut the tripe and you can see that it's very soft so we're going to be cut cutting the tripe uh, for about like let's say more or less this size okay So once again, look at this. Sometimes when we have, when we don't follow our, our recipe, like we do things in different orders. So I want to do it exactly the same way. You can do it uh, at home um, from the guidance of my cookbook. So we have more or less two spoons of oil here. And we're going to begin with the aderezo. Um, Okay. One, two. And then one spoon, two spoons of, of our chili, chili paste goes away. So we're going to add now This is an equivalent of more or less one pinch of cumin. Of pepper. Okay. The full version of this event with no interruptions, like step by step, minute by minute, will be on Patreon. So if you wish to have access later to this cooking show, please become my patreon that will help me really a lot to continue creating this content okay so 
So, now we're going to use our tomato paste. So by the way, if we already had <clears throat> a, look at, look at this, quite dry, <coughs> oh, this is the spices. <laughs> So this is how the uh, the paste resulting looks like, right? Look at this. And now we're going to integrate it all with the tomato sauce. Let's add our broth here. And it has also a little bit of, you know, it has separated the fat. We're going to add, this is on demand of the dish, like as much as is needed. So this is one onion, okay, cut, cut Juliana style. Starting next year, I will begin offering in-person cooking classes here in my home in Lima, Peru. So if you know someone that is coming next year and wants to experience cooking classes, cooking lessons at the home of someone, a Peruvian, a person who is not a chef, but is a mom that loves to cook and, and has um, this passion for food. Well, you have me here. So, I have to hydrate a little bit more. Next is going to be our tomato. So we're, we're going now to add tomatoes. It, this is one tomato only. We we took out the the heart of the tomato, so it's just the skin of the tomato, and we're going now to to move it a bit. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to add this. So now going to add this um, some people in Peru like their onions sorry their carrots like their carrots to be cut long like long almost like the onion right but well if you if you like your carrots to be cut long you can add it like that long uh, I prefer them like this. I don't know why. I like the square, almost little dice shape. Just a little bit more of, of this broth. How do you serve this dish? Well, you serve it with rice <laughs> and french fries. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I think is I don't eat too high in salt. For me, that is perfect. But my husband likes a little bit more salt than me. So let's add just a little bit. That would be like one teaspoon more or less of salt. So this is this is almost done. We have always kept the temperature of the uh, of the stove uh, stove not so high. Temperature is low, like medium, basically not low, but medium. And now we are adding parsley. It's the last part. So now we're going to. Look at that how nice how we're going to be putting the french fries let me do something very nice like <laughs> let's let's play a little bit like if we were chefs like this okay so well, just a bit of french fries okay huh look at that oh mmm we can put a little bit of the 
cream, oh, sorry, the, the juice. Uh -huh. And we're going to clean now the, the plate. And here we have our delicious mondonguito a la italiana. So, buon appetit. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. mm. It's so soft. It really worth it to be two hours <laughs> boiling. <laughs> mm. But it's it's fantastic. And this cuisine is is getting lost because we don't have the time to dedicate to doing this. But I think we should have the chance to at least save one day on, of our week to, to cook something for us that is more elaborated. Uh, it can be therapeutic also. Well, how is the potato with the sauce? Let's check. Mm. If you wish to see the full length of this um, event, um, you can become a Patreon. That would be super fantastic with as little as $2 Per month you can also support with five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars as much as as you as you can um, you're going to get access to a gallery of videos that have not been not edited so they are full-length videos of all the steps by steps so there you can see not just cooking shows also history lectures that I do. I am an official tour guide here in Peru, so I love history. You can access to those recorded events, uh, full events there. Also, you can support on PayPal. That would be super fantastic. And I will be sending you back um, this uh, complete full recording from beginning to end for your enjoyment. Oh. Um, so, well, thanks a lot for coming. Thank you so much for visiting me in Lima, Peru, and look forward to seeing you in another cooking show. Uh, thank you so much. Best to you all. Ciao, ciao. Gracias. See you soon. Thank you.